architecture or space is actually something that is very important for me acoustically, but also the visuals. You cannot see the performance without the visual. You cannot see the visual without the music. It's like a dialogue. Se va reciclando el lenguaje, se van hibridizando estilos. Derrière ce que l'on peut voir, il y a autre chose. An imaginative moment. Improvisation is probably the best tool that everyone has got. I like the idea of risk taking, not knowing exactly where you're going with your music. Sound is such an abstract matter that I want to find a way so that we can kind of feel it through material. This place is just amazing. And then the people are so nice. In the botanical garden, just wow. You just want to be there. And you were hearing the cello, the waterfall, the wind. It was kind of magic. I just really try to find something that to me is emotionally true. And when I find that, I kind of hope that it will resonate with people somehow. I'm performing behind a screen. I'd like people to think about ecology and like an ecosystem and what that means. It's more just like an accompaniment to yourself. A space for music to listen to you rather than you listen to music. Une expérience sur la perception de l'espace et du temps. La position du spectateur plus le son permet de créer un environnement complètement immersif. My music maybe has the tendency of letting people drift. They lose maybe time. When I started recording the record, what if? I wanted to ask questions about what will the world be in 30 years. There's, of course, dystopian ideas, but there's also the question, how can I get used to change? Because we are all expect, maybe in a way, that the life will stay like it is forever.